Hey guys, I'm Adrian. I, I'm technical artist at Jagged Alliance and in this video I want to show you a few of uh, effects props that you can use to give some life to, 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 to the environment. And um, I'm going to start showing you the butterflies that you can uh, place using a simple drag and drop. And uh, we have eight variations for the butterflies and they fly on, a, on their own path in a, in a loop. So. Um, Right next to the butterflies, it's a bit hard to see, but we have some, some flies that can place over uh, garbage or over, uh, over dead bodies. And um, we're using those flies uh, as well when, uh, when a character dies. Um, after a while, it's, it's, it's gonna, we're going to spawn, spawn the flies. Okay, so then we have some environment effects, like this uh, small um, uh, god ray effect or, or light shafts that you can put in, uh, in windows. So it just simulates the sun passing through the window, passing through, through some dust. And similarly to that one, we have this, this bigger one uh, that we use for a uh, forest area. It uh, works especially well in, in, in the jungle where uh, you want to see uh, sun rays uh, passing through, through, through the leaves. Um, next to it, we have this big... Um, uh, mist, mist effect that again we can use in, in, in dense jungles and it just simulates uh, the humidity and then and helps achieve a bit of depth. Okay, then we have this, um, let's, let's wait for it to, to start again. Uh, we have this uh, dust um, effect that we can place on uh, dirty roads or on, on uh, desert areas. And over here we have uh, three fire effects that, uh, again, uh, we can place them uh, wherever we want them. We can combine them and then make a, a bigger fire and then and so on. Um, now, even though there aren't that many effects uh, at the moment, as we continue with the game, we're gonna uh, we're gonna build more and we're gonna uh, share more with uh, with you guys. And uh, just to show you how easy it is to use them in in um, in game. So, if we look in the asset panel, we have uh, the VFX folder, and this one contains all the effects that I showed you there, plus uh, plus a few more. Um, and for example, let's uh, use the guard rays, and you can see it is as easy as uh, drag and drop. Now, since most of the effects are particle based, uh, that means that you can see them only in a play mode. So that's why I created this uh, red transparent bonding box so uh, to give you an idea where, uh, where they're going to be. And feel free to rotate them and, um, and move them uh, around. Similarly for the butterflies, it's as uh, easy as, uh, as drag and drop. And this is dust, and this one shows the direction of which the dust blows. Uh, like I said, we, we have planned a lot more uh, effects. Um, like uh, heat waves for, for, for heat and, and all that. Um, another thing I want to, to mention is that um, some of these effects um, behave differently if it's daytime or if it's nighttime. For example, the butterflies are going to be hidden during uh, nighttime and the god rays will transform uh, in moon rays during, uh, during nighttime, for example. Um, also, the dust is going to change colors depending on uh, one time of day, so it's not as bright during during the night, and in the evening and, and morning is going to pick up some some uh, red uh, red light. Um, other effects are built in, in the props. For example, um, the trees have uh, have a have a built in uh, an effect for for falling leaves and and, and so forth. But I'm I'm really looking forward to to share with you uh, more of these effects as as we advance. We have some uh, some animals that are going to be uh, ready soon, some, some chickens that will run around and, and so on. So um, yeah, um, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching.